Ethan was right. I should have listened to him. You made a big plan to enter my family. I swear. I didn't come into this family because of money. Ethan. I tried to tell you about my past. But you didn't listen to me. Now you all know about me. I will leave and take my son with me. No, I will not let him go with you. He will stay here. Get out of my house. What? He is my son. I have every right to take him with me. You can't keep my son from me. Just get out of this house. You deceived us. Get out, or else I will call the police and have you arrested for fraud. Please don't do that, madam. He is my son. You have no right to call him your son. You lied to us from the beginning. I can't believe anything you say anymore. Just leave before I do something I will regret. I understand that you are angry. But he is my child. I can't leave without him. You have no rights here. You lost all rights when you deceived us. I don't want to hear any more of your lies. Just leave. I will go. But please let me take my son. He is not your son. He is my son. And he will stay with me. You can't keep him away from me. I will fight for him. I will never forgive myself for what I did. But please don't punish my son for my mistakes. Ethan, I understand you are mad at me. Please let me go get the baby. I will take Mike. And you will never see us again. Why would you give the kid my brother's name? Was that part of the plan too? No, that isn't true. I didn't make any plan. You can't just take my child away from me. Why can't I? I have every right to do so. According to his birth certificate, he is Mike, my nephew. Who are you then? What? I'm his mother. Oh, really? The thing is, his mother died. You can't. You can't. That's not true. I'm his mother. Any DNA test will prove that. So what? Are you going to go to the police? Tell them you are Rosa? They will throw you in jail on the spot. Ethan, give me my son back. He is my son. I will not leave without him. I know I messed up. But please don't punish my son for my mistakes. You should have thought about that before. You made your choice when you lied. Now face the consequences. Just go and never come back. But you love me, Ethan. And I love you too. Please don't do that. Love? You broke my trust. You played with my feelings. I thought I chose the right person in my life. But you hurt me. I know. And I regret it so much. But my love for you is real. Love is not just about saying the words. It's about trust, honesty, and respect. You have broken all of that. I never meant to hurt you. I was just scared to lose you. That's not an excuse for lying to me from the beginning. Now get out from my house. I don't want to see your face. Please stop. I beg you, please stop. Go away, mother. Please calm down. How could this happen to us? Why did this happen? I had some suspicions too. I'm so sorry my son. This is all my fault, please forgive me. It was me who brought her here. 
You told me, and I didn't listen to you. Please forgive me. Why does this always happen to me, mother? Why did the girl betray me whom I liked? Why don't I get true love? I thought Rosa was my life. I loved her from the bottom of my heart. I know, Ethan. It's painful. But sometimes the people we love don't love us back. It's not your fault. But I trusted her mother. I believed her words, her actions. How could she deceive me like this? Sometimes people wear masks, Ethan. They hide their true selves until it's too late. I feel so broken. I don't know if I can ever trust anyone again. What have I done? I have lost everything, my home, my son, everything. But I won't give up, I will fight for my son and take him back. For now, I need to find a place to live and a job. I can't go to my mother without my passport or money. I need to be strong, for my son and for myself. Madam. Please, I need a job. I'm sorry, dear. I have a full staff here. I don't need any helpers right now. Please, madam. I can mop the floor. I can do anything. I really need money right now. I'm sorry. I can't hire you. But I really need this job. I will work hard, I promise. I understand, but I can't just hire someone without a proper interview and background check. I can come for an interview right now. I will do anything to prove that I'm a good worker. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Maybe you can try some other places. Excuse me. Can you come here? I heard you need a job. Yes, sir. I need a job. I'm going through a difficult time right now. And I have no place to live. I have a job for you. We need a housemaid. My wife is old and she doesn't do the housework. Can you do that? Yes, I'm ready to do that. I can clean, cook, and do all the household chores. That sounds good. We can use some help around the house. Can you come right now? Yes, I can. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this opportunity. <laughs>